In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play Hands Down by Dashboard Confessional off of their album, A Mark, A Mission, A Brand, A Scar. And if that sounds good to you, smash that like button and stay tuned. What's up, Alt Rockers? America's favorite guitar playing ginger is back with another guitar lesson. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Scott, and on this channel, we learn how to play the best rock songs of the past and how to produce the best rock songs of the future. Leave a comment down below if Dashboard Confessional was your favorite emo band. And let's dive in. The song's gonna be in half step down tuning. So make sure you tune all of your strings down a half step. So E down to E flat, B down to B flat, and so on. The song's gonna open with this individual guitar part. So we have this riff, I'll play it kind of slow here. Okay, so that'll just keep repeating. It's a challenging riff to play, so it is going to take some practice, but let's break it down. So we have open 6th string, and then 2nd fret 5th string, and then 4th fret 4th string. I play that with my pinky, so... Then reach up 1st fret 3rd string with the 1st finger and then 2nd fret 4th string with the middle finger, so... And I just alternate picking with my right hand. So going down, up, down, up. Okay, and then it kind of repeats. But then we end 2nd fret 3rd string the second time through instead of 2nd fret 4th string, so... And then it ends with this pattern. So that's open 6th string, 2nd fret 5th string, 4th fret 4th string, just like we've been doing, and then we slide this one up to the 6th fret. And we're also going to be palm muting with the right hand. So when you put this all together, it'll sound like this, slow. Now, the last time through, we end with these two chords. So that's just a power chord shape, 2nd fret, 5th string. And then we end with 2nd fret, 5th string, 1st fret, 4th string. So all together, one more time. Once we get through that riff, the song gets easier. So now we're into verse one, and I'll play verse one through one time. Okay, so we're starting with these chords, E major chord shape, focusing on strings six, five, four, and three. Palm muting eighth notes with the right hand for two bars there. Then we come up to fourth fret, fifth string, second fret, fourth string. OK, 
Okay, so you accent the first hit and then go into palm muting eighth notes. Next chord, open sixth string, open fifth string, first fret, fourth string. Okay, and then the last chord, we just add second fret, sixth and fifth string, keep the index finger where it is. Okay, just one bar there, and then we slide up to this. Fifth fret, sixth string, fifth fret, fifth string, seventh fret, fourth string. And then replace the seventh fret, fourth string with sixth fret, fourth string. And then it repeats. So we'll play through that several times and then enter the first chorus. First chorus is going to have two distinct guitar parts here. So let's play the rhythm part first. It'll sound like this. So if we break down those chords, we have an E major chord. We're strumming all the strings this time. E major chord. We'll come up to this chord here. This is fourth fret, sixth string, sixth fret, fifth string, and then barring fourth fret, fourth, third, second, and first strings. Okay, next chord is this A major 7 chord, so that's open 5th string, 2nd fret 4th string, 1st fret 3rd string, 2nd fret 2nd string, open 1st string. Back to that 2nd chord again, and then repeat. So right hand rhythm, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, and then we transition to this chord on the up. So we're transitioning on the ups. And the last time through the rhythm part in the chorus, we're on this chord. What we'll do is we'll just move ring finger to sixth fret, fourth string, hit that four times, then move it back to sixth fret, fifth string, and then we go into the next verse. While the rhythm is playing that, the lead guitar is playing this. So the lead guitar is playing this part. So that's mostly just octave swiping, but we're letting some other strings ring out. So we're going to start on this octave, which is 7th fret, 5th string. That includes 9th fret, 3rd string. Okay, so that's the bass line, but we're going to let 2nd string and 1st string kind of ring out throughout this. So if they ring out, it's fine. If they don't ring out, also fine, but you can kind of hear these notes in the part. So we want to let 2nd and 1st string ring out if we can. So it'll sound like this. So it just goes from 7 to 9 to 11. And then down to 6. Then up to 9. Down to 7. And then it plays this. It's open A string, then 7th fret. 4th string, 6th fret, 3rd string, and then open 2nd and 1st. Then we go 12, 11, 9, 7, and then all the way down to 2. Then 
we play this riff. So that's fifth fret, sixth string, fourth fret, fifth string, sixth fret, fourth string, slide up to seven, and then back down to six. Fourth fret, fifth string, fifth fret, sixth string, open sixth string. So all together that part one more time. And then it'll just repeat. And now we're into the second verse. So in the second verse, we still have that rhythm guitar playing this part. It's a little bit more faint. It's a little bit more faint because then we have a second guitar that's playing this now. So it's kind of like the opening riff, it's just an abbreviated version. So it's just these just three notes at a time. Fourth fret, fourth string, first fret, third string, second fret, fourth string. And the second time through you end second fret, third string. So you just kind of hear this going on throughout. You also hear. So you hear that, that extra part every once in a while. So that's going on along with the rhythm guitar part. And then at the end of the second verse, you'll hear this. So that's just 5th fret, 2nd string, alternating with 4th fret, 1st string. Then 4th fret, 2nd string, alternating with open 1st string. And then that hit ends 6th fret, 3rd string, 5th fret, 2nd string. At the end of the second verse, the rhythm guitar will hit this to go along with that other guitar. So open, fifth string, second fret, fourth string, first fret, third string. Then it hits second fret, sixth, second fret, fifth, fourth fret, fourth. And then we start entering the next chorus. Second chorus is exactly the same as the first. And then we kick into the outro section. So the outro is just this extended section that plays these chords. C minor, A suspended second, E major, and then B suspended. So it's just C minor shape, A suspended second, so this is like an A chord, but second and first string ring open, and then E major, and then this B suspended shape, which is like a B power chord, but let second and first strings ring open. So. And we're in kind of a halftime feel here. So we're not playing eighth notes anymore, we're playing quarter notes.
While the rhythm is playing that, the lead will have a couple of distinct fills over top. So coming into that part, you'll hear the lead part play this. And then we'll play this with the rhythm part for the first half of the outro. Let's open, second string, second fret, fourth fret, and then you alternate open first string with the fourth fret second string. About halfway through the outro, you'll hear the lead guitar go into these octave swipes. So those octave swipes, second fret, fifth string, fourth fret, sixth fret, ninth fret, then it slides up to 11, up to 11, back down to nine, and then ends on seven. Okay, it does that twice. Nine up to 11, back down to nine, down to seven. plays this 7th fret power chord and then joins the rhythm on this B suspended chord. And then towards the end of the outro section, you'll hear the lead part playing this. So we're going to be at the 9th fret here, 1st string, just playing 8th notes, down to 7th fret, and what we do is 7th fret 6, sorry, 7th fret 2nd string, 11th fret 1st string. And then we slide up to bar 12th fret 2nd and 1st string. And then it joins the rhythm to play this E major chord to end the song. Was Hands Down the best Dashboard Confessional song? Comment down below. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button to join the congregation and get more guitar lessons and videos every single week. Thanks so much for joining me. And remember, hug the gingers in your life because we do, in fact, have souls.